One of Frieza's biggest disadvantages as a fighter, which we saw plenty of on Planet Namek during his fight with Goku, is his inability to sense ki. Vegeta learned how to do it, Goku, Gohan, Krillin, Piccolo, they all knew how to do it, but Frieza, even though being really, really strong, never really learned how to do it. And the same appeared to carry over into Resurrection F when Frieza made his great return. However, Dragon Ball Super may have actually changed that. So on this video, we're going to discuss... Did Frieza learn how to sense key in Dragon Ball Super? And please make sure you watch the entire video before commenting. You can hear what we have to say, and then give us your thoughts. Let's go. Hey guys, this is Goku. Donate some of your energy and Dragon Punch that subscribe button. And follow Geekdom 101 on the social media platforms. When Dragon Ball Super began to retell the story of the movies, we often wonder what they were going to do and what kind of changes they were going to implement. And we know for a fact that during the, I guess, the adaptation from the film of the revival of F arc, the creative team at Toei took a lot of liberties with the story and made a lot of changes. We saw Gotenks involved, we saw Togoma get a really crazy power up, we saw Captain Ginyu get involved, and we also saw this strange change in Frieza that was not in the original Resurrection F movie and it was added strictly for Dragon Ball Super but it can lead to some confusion and thus on this video I want to talk about this the question we're posing is did Frieza learn how to sense key during the revival of F arc or during Resurrection F the saga now I want to make note before we go any further that the original Resurrection F screenplay was written by Toriyama and if you went to go see Resurrection F in theaters in Japan which unfortunately most of us did not because most of us don't live over there but I know some of you guys probably do if you got if you went there you got the F script and that pretty much told you kind of Toriyama's outline for the film and what we're discussing here was not in the film but it was something in Super that has made me kind of wonder what you know if we should even give this any stock or not but joining me to discuss this is the man who actually discovered this and did a lot of research on it please welcome MJ from Geek List TV. Thank you, man. <laughs> uh, thanks for the introduction. I'm happy to be here to discuss this topic. Let's talk about it. So, okay, like I said at the beginning of the video, Frieza on Namek had no idea how to sense key, and that was, of course, something that was an advantage for Goku. There's that famous scene during their fight where he's shooting the eye beams and Goku's dodging them. But when we get to Resurrection F, the, the golden Frieza stuff, he's back. He's way stronger than ever before. He's got more abilities than he had before. But did he learn how to sense God key in the or sense key in general? That is in the movie. He did not in the series. He did. Now, what led to this confusion, MJ, is that in the Dragon Team sub version of the of the uh, episode, which was Dragon Ball Super episode 26, I believe I it might be 20. It's 25, 25. 25. Dragon Ball Super Episode 25. Frieza says you can sense my energy and infer that I am superior. Can you not? And that's actually incorrect. Even though Dragon Team has always had the most accurate subs, that line is not correct. And again, guys, give them a break. When you're translating from Japanese to English, this is not easy. It's a very complex language. There's different symbols, katakana, kanji, hiragana, so it's not easy to do. Plus, obviously, the verbiage is not that easy. So you went out, MJ, and you asked Herms directly. What did Herms say? <laughs> Uh, I actually found a picture of a different translation of this episode. It says something completely different. My boy Timothy sent it to me. I went to Fact Checker. I went to Konzenshu. I went to the Holy Grail. I checked Fact Checker, and they did actually confirm, and this is what's actually said at the minute nine mark of episode 25, judging from the energy I'm sensing, it seems that I will be the victor, does it not? And I'm like, holy crap, Frieza could sense Goku, right? And it's not just key, it's also God key. Because He's also correct, God key. Yeah, because correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, if Goku was in his blue-haired form, which was yes. pure God key. And we explain, and the episode explained that others could not sense him when he went to that form. You went to Herms, and Herms says, he says he can sense Goku's energy. DT, which is Dragon Team, is wrong in this case. So... It's interesting, to say the least, that this actually happened. And it kind of creates a new lore here. I, I guess 
how is there an explanation as to how Golden Frieza was able to, I guess, learn how to sense God key? Is there anything we can get, we can dig from this? Because I think that's a major plot point that uh, I think some people are forgetting about when it comes to this character. Me and Mike have actually talked about this uh, off air for a while now. We have a theory. It's sort of out there. It's not so much the Frieza stuff, but the Frieza thing did end up backing up our theory. The theory is, Danny, is that maybe God key, you can learn how to sense God key or obtain God key by like just passing a certain power level. Now, there's two reasons that back, there's two theories that I have for this. Now, one of them is- You're going through some dangerous ground here because what you're telling me is that you believe that Golden Frieza did attain the ability of the, the power of God key, tap into it, so to speak. Technically. Now, one- statement backs all this up in my opinion i'm going off dragon team here again so guys uh i'm hoping that this is correct i have not fact checked this episode but this is the episode of kaba you all remember that episode right it was a famous scene right after right before he punches kaba and knocks him out uh geekdom he tells him you can obtain this form by just keep on training right so like he didn't tell kaba go train with vados he didn't tell kaba you know to gather a whole bunch of science and do the ritual. He just told him keep on training. And that makes me wonder, can he just like can he learn how to sense Gaki or can he like tap into that blue power just by training? You know what I mean? So, so so what you're telling me is that now the previous thought of the only way to access God Key, which is by training through Wiss or by or training with Wiss, somebody who's familiar with God Key, or by doing the God ritual, if you're saying, what you're telling me now is that from what Vegeta said and the evidence that we're having here, there's a possibility. And again, guys, this is something from the Dragon Ball Super anime. Until we have an actual Tori interview we cannot yes. confirm what he thinks about this because this may have been something added just for the anime remember yes. super the anime Toriyama sends them very brief manuscripts they write everything else so it gets confusing it's very confusing what <laughs> yes. you're telling me is that it's possible to attain God key just by training really really hard all your life but then of course then, then that you wonder why didn't Vegeta do it on his own why didn't Goku do it on his own there's a big mystery there and, and also it the is. next the next question is that mysterious new trunks form with the blue energy and surrounded by gold yeah. energy. Did he do it? Are we seeing another example of somebody achieving God status without actually training with like Wiss or, or the ritual? Is, is that what's happening here? Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but in the recent episodes of Super, has Trunks been able to sense Goku, Black, and Zamasu? I, I don't recall actually um but also with goku black and zamasu it's not specifically stated that they're using god key mm -hmm. we can presume that they are now when goku black goes into his uh ss rose or ss rose then yes i would say that is god key but in, yes. as far as his, the regular battle we haven't seen any evidence of that at all huh it's tough to say but me and you've actually talked off air about the form and i would say that somehow maybe some way he probably did either tap into it. And again, this is going off the theory that if you just reach a certain power level or you break a certain cap, then you can like either sense it or obtain it. At least that's what I got from Frieza, bro, because Frieza did not train with anybody other than Tagama and he wasn't a god. You know what that's I mean? Right. That's right. That's so. right. He didn't. He never trained with Wiss. He never trained with anybody. He was able to get not only really strong, but then of course, then the question is: Frieza does not have God Key because when Frieza fought Goku, he didn't. There was nobody. None of the characters actually said that Frieza has God Key. And you would think that Beerus and Whis, who were watching the fight, would have made a statement saying, "Wow, Frieza learned how to tap into God Key. That's pretty impressive." You would at least that hear right. that. Exactly. So maybe it's one of those things where Frieza. Maybe it's one of those things, and again, this is just me kind of trying to piece together this puzzle. We're going to obviously go to the comments and see what they think as well after this, but maybe it's one of those things where Frieza learned how to sense God Key, but he didn't push his body strong enough to be able to use God Key, whereas mm -hmm. with Trunks, maybe it's the opposite. Maybe with Trunks, it's he pushes by to tap into a form of God Key with his new form, but he doesn't know how to sense it yet for whatever reason. It's The thing about Dragon Ball Super... And not even so much the original Battle of Gods and Resurrection F movies, because things still made sense there, but Dragon Ball Super has made God Key such a convoluted, confusing <laughs> thing. It wasn't like this originally. Yeah, I've always said that Super, in the first two arcs anyways, or in the first two retellings, they've introduced a lot of cool stuff, but it kind of just made stuff even more confusing. You know what I mean? At yeah. At least that's the way I've seen it. 
it, it kind of did when it comes to God key. And I know there's going to be yeah. some rocket scientists down in the comments who's probably going to leave a comment explaining God key. But And there are things that are right about God key that we know for sure. But there's also a lot of unanswered questions about God key. Like a lot of it is kind of strange, especially when you factor in the Kaioken and it's confusing. So yeah. everybody needs to go check out Geek List TV. I'm going to put a link down below in the description to go check out his channel. Also, let us know in the comments, do you think that Frieza, what do you think happened here? Do you think Frieza was able to sense it? Really, the most logical explanation, if you try to ignore some other things, is that Toei just added that line for fucks, for shits and giggles. <laughs> yeah. But really, it's like hard to, with other evidence based on like other people and what they said and trunks. And, you know, it's hard to really say whether or not this thing has a cap. I mean, it is, it is. we don't have an answer. Yeah, we don't. It, I do get what you mean, though, because it is um, like when you look at the line, you can sense my energy and infer that I'm superior. It's just cooler for Frieza to say, hey, I'm sensing you right now. You don't stack up to me. You know what I mean? It's just cooler for him to say that than it is for him to say the other line, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, okay. Oh, by the way, he said superior, not inferior. He, you can infer that I'm superior, but whatever. Okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, all right, everybody, check out Geek List. Let us know your thoughts, and we'll talk to you all later.